Thank you. I will make your sacrifice matter.
This is a long intro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome back to The Expanse. It's going to be the latest intro in any video I've ever made. Uh, that's bad. We just got captured by the pirates, huh? I mean, it's better than dying. But, uh... Yikes. Let's see where this goes. You look like Falota. You look like a clogged up recycler, Filter. <laughs> Better gather your wits. Matna will want to speak with you soon. <laughs> How do we get ourselves in these situations? I would have been better off choking to death on that rock. Oh, I don't know about that. A blood stain on the floor? Cox should consider himself lucky. Our brig is a luxury hotel compared to this. Auto turret on the wall? Seems like overkill to me. You ready, camera? Hey. Over here. I wonder what her story is. Looks like an Inya. Whoever she is, she's a long way from home. Well, let's go see if we can talk to her. Kamina Drummer? Wait, Julie Mao? Isn't that the lady out of the first series of Expanse? Yeah. Who are you? My name is Julie Mao. Anderson Doss has a message for you. <laughs> Shut up! Uh. This is a blind spot, but they'll be happy to let me rough you up a little. Maybe a couple of minutes? It's our only window. Window? To figure out how we're getting off this ship. Hmm. Who are you exactly? Who are you? Just an inner who's very far from home. With a shitload of supplies, I'd much rather give to my friends in the OPA than these fucks. It's me and a group of defectors. I was heading to meet them on Ceres when I was kidnapped by these assholes. Hit me. Oh, Zabakawala! That should buy us another minute. What's the plan? On the bridge, there's a center console. The screen all the way on the left has a disarm command for the entire brig. It needs a security override. The console is Tucson Station. You'll need to somehow move her off of there and keep her distracted long enough for the override to go through. Hmm. I mean, I know what she wants. Do I know what she wants? Sure. At least I know what she's after. And how far she's willing to go to get it. That's something. I heard her talking about you. After you escaped and killed her men. She was furious, but... Also... I think she sees something in you now. Something she wants. Use it. Oh, traitorous Pashangwala. 
You gonna kill her? Or do I get to? Nah. She gets to talk to Mon now. Gamma meal. Good for the throat. It's a habit I picked up in prison on Luna. Now I goes with the stuff. Five, six bulbs a day. When I'm not guzzling the blood of my enemies, of course. That's a joke. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. I'm sure your crew are cracking up when they're not scared shitless of you. Torrance, do my jokes crack you up? Fuck no. Your jokes is corny as fuck, boss man. That's Torrance. We call him Thor because no one should ever have to suffer being murdered by a guy named Torrance. So, you're all one big happy family that goes around decapitating people. Decapitating corpses. <laughs> Their owners had no use for them anymore. Inners are sentimental about many things. Corpses, property, manners. If we follow their rules, we'd never win. Our power comes from being willing to do what they are not. You should understand that better than anyone. Kamina Drummer. This is Arlan, captain of the Optimus. Our former captain, Kamina Drama, is dead. As you know, her body carries Anderson Dawes' bounty. We are leaving it for you as a token. It was Drama and her little Martian girlfriend who decided to go after those coordinates. Baratna and I were against it. We have dealt with both of them now. Whatever you are searching for, we don't know what it is, and we don't care. We are going back to Ceres, and you'll never find us in your sectors again. What do you make of that message? <laughs> Ten morons. They have caca for brains. They thought they could distract you and get away with the core. But there's no way you'd waste time with me. Unless you already knew you could catch them. Mensha, how long till intercept? Three minutes, Matna. It is a remarkable story you have. Betrayed by Dawes. Betrayed by Cox. Betrayed by your own crew. Yet, you still care. Did you love her? The little Martian? Her name was Maya. And yes, I did. That love is the reason why I haven't killed you. We don't employ crew members here, we find family. Look around. Everyone here has been betrayed by someone, lied to by someone. Their parents, their captains, their governments. Same for me. Now we have purpose. And that purpose is each other. All of them would die for me as I would for them. <laughs> the belt was built on lies. The only truth out here is family. You call us virus. <laughs> it means nothing. 
We know who we are and what we fight for. That's how we win. <laughs> but you are pirates. But you are pirates. You murder and steal from innocent people. The UNN is innocent? Or do you mean the scavengers trying to take food from our mouths and water from our tanks? We survive against far greater and more ruthless enemies. And we don't apologize for it. If that makes us pirates, so be it. You've come to us at an opportune time. The MK Core is the culmination of everything we've been building to us. You'll see. If you keep an open mind and open heart, you wouldn't be the first on this ship to make it from the brick to the bridge. Or you can choose the airlock instead. Do I get a helmet? I don't think I get a helmet. I think that was a threat. This might be my only shot. Toussaint. Yes. The Artemis has four functioning PDCs and a torpedo launcher. And they have one massive advantage. What's that? They can destroy you, but you can't destroy them. Not as long as they have the core. I know their weak spots. I know how they'll fly and how they'll fight. Of course you do. But why would you want to help us? Um. Hmm. I have nothing against Khan. I feel kind of mean here. Let's go with save myself. To win my freedom. I can help you disable the ship. And I'm the only person who can go in and find you the MK Core. In return, you let me go. It's awfully rude of you to not even consider my offer. Hmm. If it's a real offer, you'd let me consider it without a gun to my head. Come. Khan knows we're aiming to disable. She'll never let us get a clean angle on the drive thrusters. Your best bet is straight through the nose cone and out the back. Doesn't that have a high likelihood of killing your pilot? What if you're careful? Depends who your gunner is. That used to be Yuri before you killed him. Now it's me. Forget the pilot. I'd worry more about exploding the reactor. But if you get off a clean shot, it'll be fine. I've done it plenty of times. Battle stations! Drummer on guns! Oh no. <laughs> be ready to kill her the moment I say. Yes, Mama. Torpedoes. We need to keep their PDCs occupied, unless you'd like us to get strafed. That's fair. first, then take your shot.
nature is stable. Good. And did we get them? Drama! Look! Time to ready the breach pod. You're nearing the Artemis. Keep me updated as you clear each floor. Yes, mother. Drummer, this is our first mission together. I hope it won't be a loss, but if you step out of line once... Yes, I know. Bulletin head, brains splattered, so... Good luck. Which one of those is mine? Oh, that's the end of the episode, huh? Well, let's see how it went. That means I put the break between episodes in a terrible place again. This keeps happening. Ah, oh, sure, it's fine. Let's see, who Dawes is? 55% of Drummer told Dawes that he is in her past. Are we reacting to Dawes? 71% told Drummer <laughs> told Dawes to shut up. Nice. 92% uh, of people made it past the drone. Uh, 45% called Doors a killer. 95% of people told Julie who they were. And 74% uh, of people were open about Maya. Hmm. Interesting. But with that, I guess I'll be ending this episode here. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Thank you again to the members of the channel and the coffee supporters. It helps keep the channel going. And I really do appreciate it. And as always, I'll see you next time.